Hey folks, I'm here at the sunrise side of Mount Rainier and it's going to be a day of hiking with this monstrosity behind us. And we're heading to Mount, mountain meadows of beautiful wildflowers and what could be better than that? Actually, I know, hiking with good friends. So I'm here to meet a bunch of friends. We're going to go hike to Berkeley Park, which is just over the hill that way. It's about seven miles round trip and we might do a little uh, side jaunt up to Mount Fremont and we're in for a really beautiful day. It's sunny, there's a chipmunk heading towards me and I am excited. I hope you are too and why don't we go along for a hike. We're just about a mile in Frozen Lake, which is the water source for sunrise, just up here a little ways. And it's just already an amazing day. Lots of photos, lots of views. We've got a cloud cover, which actually is perfect because we're in the alpine tundra up here and there's really not a lot of shade. So when the sun beats down, even on chilly days, it gets hot. But uh, wow, what a day. Just really enjoying the time with my friends. having a flower gasm right now. Oh my God, this is amazing. Like I said, there's just flowers everywhere. And you know, up in the Alpine, quite often the flowers are kind of small, but as we get down into the meadow, it's gonna be just, oh, I'm so excited you gotta see this. Well, that was kind of fun. I was walking through the meadow reminiscing about my mother, who, which I always do when I'm hiking through the meadows because she's the person who really instilled in me the beauty of alpine meadows and the colors and fragrances and textures and just how 
gosh, just the gloriousness of it. And so I'm looking at the lupin and Indian paintbrush, which was one of her favorite flowers. And I stop and I look up and there is this marmot staring at me. And then he starts running towards me. It's kind of like, oh my God, what is going on here? And, and just as he got a couple of feet away from me, about six feet, which is a six foot rule, you know, right now, um, he veered off and, and went up the hill. <laughs> but I was able to get a couple uh, pictures, but with my really wide angle. But I think they might turn out, so I'll show them to you. But it was, wow, just, just wow. wandering around my friends have already uh, left me <laughs> because I'm just stopping every couple of feet to take pictures of the flowers and you might wonder you know what do I look for when I'm photographing wildflowers or just flowers and really a lot of it is shapes and textures uh, patterns in the flowers sometimes I just like to getting try and get contrasts uh, like having a bright yellow flower against a red flower so really what I'm kind of going through is just things just stop me as I, I go along and sometimes I just admire what I'm looking at and sometimes I just have to take a photo. So um, <laughs> I really want to get down to my friends but I just can't stop taking pictures and uh, the clouds are right now are just are still hanging in the air. It's supposed to get sunnier this afternoon which means we're going to be climbing up out of this meadow in the sun if that happens. But if it doesn't, this is just the perfect lighting conditions for flowers like this. And I'm just having a blast. So the other thing I'm looking for is fitting in with my uh, storytelling. I like looking for you know, the grand landscapes where the flower is a prominent feature in that. I also look for little short stories, getting you know, a little bit closer to the landscape, getting the, you know, the more intimate landscapes, but still showing a lot of detail in the environment. And then of course, I like doing the nature vignettes, which I'm getting really close to the images quite often. And you know, I've got my lens, long lens on for that and getting lots of close personal images of flowers. And right now I'm kind of looking at a scene that I hope you turn this out there. Creek is off to the side, way past a bunch of flowers. And that could be a really, really pretty short story or intimate landscape.
the follies of hiking with non-photography friends as I was dawdling so much in the meadows taking pictures that by the time I got down to our lunch spot they were ready to go <laughs> so they're already taken off and heading back up the hill I'm gonna be following them here in a minute I don't think I'm gonna be any faster going up the hill than I was coming down because I <laughs> There's just so many flowers and so many photos to be created. And I'm just so excited about it all. So they're leaving me. It isn't that bad. It's, I understand completely that they needed to go. And, uh, and they understand completely that I wanted to take pictures. So, and, you know, that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to come on this trip. And they knew that. So with that, I had a little bit bite to eat. I'm going to go ahead and pack up and start going back up the hill. And get some more photos <laughs> I don't even know how many photos I've gotten so far but um, yeah it's just like I said photogasm <laughs> or flowergasm photogasm is Gap and Heart Castle's <laughs> phrase I'm doing a flowergasm so I'll see you in a bit Here we come to the, to the end of another fun-filled adventure. Just an absolute flowergasm up there. It was just so amazing. I still, even the meadows surrounding the visitor center, Lupin is just everywhere and just smelling amazing. And uh, just absolutely perfect. Even though my friends abandoned me so they could go hike up to another position, place. And I just wanted to photograph the flowers, but that's that's we kind of knew that would happen, um, or we suspected at least. Anyways, uh, thank you for joining me on this. I really appreciate your watching my video, and if you like the content, uh, go ahead and give me a like. And if you like my, anything on my channel, go ahead and give it, you know, subscribe to it. There's going to be a lot more adventures and a lot more photo tutorials. So. Enjoy and goodbye for now.